Hey guys, it's Ross Scott, and on the Space Coach today, we're going to be reviewing this. Dooku Jedi Lost by Kavan Scott, the script version of the audiobook. And there you see the back. Now, the main, the main narrators of this are Dooku and Ventress, but the timelines change quite a bit. So, essentially, it follows his life from um, as a Padawan, uh, so like 10, 11, that sort of thing through to round about the time he first becomes involved with Darth Sidious. Sifo Dias is still alive, he's only just left the Jedi Order at that point. But yes, absolutely fantastic. Born on Sereno into the ruling house, he doesn't know that of course. His father, the Count of Sereno, just dumps him outside the castle, tells the Jedi to come and get him as soon as he realises he has powers. So he never, I think he knows he's from Sereno, but he didn't know anything about his background. And he's part of a group that's attending a festival on Sereno um, when there's an accident. And he, uh, uh, yes, there's an accident, all that sort of stuff. And even though he's helping people, the Count or whatever is not hot, happy about it, especially because Dooku finds out that that is his family. His brother doesn't care, uh, Ramal, I think he's called. Um, but his sister, Jenza, he does have a connection with her, and that is maintained for many, many years getting both of them into trouble by staying in touch with each other. But it's basically it's all about his adventures as a Jedi and you do see slowly over the years um, him slipping to the dark side, just having thoughts about things, you know, like how the Jedi Order isn't really working the way it's supposed to, you know, like how a Jedi must never become involved and all that sort of stuff and it's very, very interesting. But he is very interested in prophecies and Sith artefacts and all that. Just a, from his curiosity, originally, of course. Later, it's because of the pursuit of power. But he's very good friends with Sifo Dias, who suffers from having visions. Obviously, the problem with visions is they aren't necessarily what's going to happen. They're what could happen. And if you try and stop it from happening, you'll make it happen. You know, it's that catch-22, isn't it? Um, like Anakin and Padme. He tried to prevent her death and ends up being the one who kills her. So there's lots of that in here. And they do go on various different uh, missions to various places. It's absolutely fascinating, as I say. And from time to time, he ends up back on Sereno. And every single time, it's very unsatisfying for Dooku. The rejection of his family, by his family, apart from his sister, of course. But um, over the years, as he becomes more powerful... Um, because obviously he is taken on as a Padawan by Yoda. And then in due course he takes on Rael Avaros, who we see in Master and Commander. Master and Commander, Master and Apprentice, sorry. Um, as his Padawan. Although at that point he is, uh, in that book he is much older and is a Jedi Knight. I think with his own Padawan, I'm not sure. But um, he also um, uh, takes on Qui-Gon Jinn as his Padawan as well. So there's little bits of Qui-Gon Jinn in there as well. There's bits of Yoda as well, it's always good to see him, and various other council members, although I can't recall specifically who uh, don't really, it wasn't really ones that were well known, like Mace Windu or Kit Fisto or um, Ki Adimondi, it's not that sort of thing, it's others. Um, because this is even before Chancellor Valorum is in power, it's the Chancellor prior to that. And Palpatine does get a mention. Um, he's introduced to Dooku, but as basically a senator with very little sway or influence. It's quite funny. But yes, thoroughly, thoroughly recommend this. There's so much more involved in it. Ventress is really good in it because she is on a task for Dooku. Um, he's granted her access to like various hollow discs of his personal history, which is what forms a lot of the basis of this book. And she's reviewing it thinking, um, so this is what he's like, how he turned out the way he was. But she is being haunted by the ghost of her old Jedi master because she was very briefly was a Padawan. It's unclear if it's a force ghost or if it is just in her mind. Um, it is left open, I think, uh, from what I recall. But it's fascinating how the two narrators intertwine. But yes, like I said, always good to get more prequel era content. And it's a very good backstory for Count Dooku. And it's not his entire backstory. Because, like I said, this is really only up to where the hooded man is starting to exert some influence over Dooku. After he leaves the Jedi Order and he returns to Sereno as the Count. After killing his brother, <laughs> who is basically betraying the planet. Um, he brought in pirates. Um, there's then a resurre uh, resurrection and insurrection. 
uh, Dooku and a couple of others come to try and help. But his brother Rannell sees this as an, uh, the Count sees it as an opportunity to take them all down. And it does not work and he gets killed. <laughs> but yes, Dooku is now the one in charge. And he's tasked Ventress with finding his sister who has kind of been kidnapped. Of course, why would he want to find his sister? Yeah. What tends to happen to family members of people who turn to the dark side? I mean, every single family member. Yeah, that's basically why he's looking for his sister at that point. But I'd say, great book. Thoroughly recommend it. The format makes it very easy to read through. I think it was a week or so. Or oh, maybe he started this last weekend. And I've just been reading on the, the train. And you see, it's very simple. Um... How it's like, like how long does this take to read for instance it's very very fast and because there are like those stage directions in there as well even though it's mostly just a narration of the characters you do get a sense for all of the locations and a feeling for that star wars universe so yes Cavan scott's dooku jedi, jedi lost absolutely fantastic very much looking forward to seeing more of count dooku from where this ends up to, I guess, uh, where we first see him in uh, Attack of the Clones, I guess it would be. Thoroughly looking forward to that. I'm sure we shall see that in due course. But for now, that's just my review of Dooku Jedi Lost. Please subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this content. Leave me a comment or suggestion for a common topic you'd like to see discussed. Or like the video.